Hey guys, so in today's video, I kind of wanted to make a little bit of an in memoriam video for Kirby Morrow. Um, in case you guys have not heard the tragic news, Kirby Morrow has passed away. He was a voice actor well known in this community for voicing Cole on Ninjago, and obviously, a lot of us are still trying to cope with this. To me, it still doesn't seem real. It's almost been a full day since we've heard the news, and it really just doesn't seem real to me. This doesn't seem like something that could happen, but the sad fact of the matter is this did happen. So I figured a good way to, I guess, celebrate his legacy is to go ahead and talk about him a little bit and kind of give a little bit more of an in-depth analysis of his career and sort of point out a couple of the highlights that were important to me. Um, yesterday, I kind of did a video um, breaking the news and kind of, I guess, uh, expressing my raw emotions during that video. Um, it certainly wasn't the most coherent video out there, but to be fair, I'm not sure if anyone could have made a coherent video. Um, after hearing that news, uh, it pretty much hit me like a truck, and that's pretty much the main reason why I want to make this video today. I want to go ahead, and after I've calmed down a little bit, I want to go ahead and um, collect my thoughts and present to you guys a video that he deserves, a video that will celebrate his legacy and kind of, I guess, you know, as I said earlier, point out his highlights. Now, to me, obviously, Cole was the biggest role that Kirby Morrow had played throughout his entire career. Obviously, as I've said earlier, he's been a part of several other different franchises and different series, different animes, different shows over the course of his career, but Cole is what I knew him best as, and I think that'll be the same thing for a lot of you guys, too. Cole is, I guess, my favorite ninja. Cole is never going to change in that position for me. He's always going to be my favorite. There's never going to be a reason why I would bump Cole down, especially not now. I mean, it's really kind of impossible for me to see any other ninja as my favorite besides Cole. I mean, he is, you know, the, uh, the foundation of the team. He's the heart and soul. And part of the reason why he worked in that position so much was because of Kirby Morrow providing the voice. Uh, Kirby Morrow beautifully encapsulated Cole's personality and everything about him. He basically gave the best performance that I think any of us could have asked for for Cole, and uh, he's been doing that for a long time. He's been here since day one, and uh, Tommy Andreessen had recently uploaded a video on his Twitter um, with an early audition tape of Kirby Morrow uh, playing for the part of Cole. Of course, Cole was known by the name of Ren at the time, but it was still the same character, and he went on to say, that Kirby Morrow was their first choice. There wasn't anyone else that could play this part. And in a way, I agree. Kirby Morrow as Ren. Whoa, 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 you never said anything about a fourth. It's always three. Three blind mice, three musketeers, three... <laughs> That's not all I'm the master of. I do a little inventing, I dabble in model building, touch of cooking. Uh, <laughs> he's just making a joke, Zane. Remember what we talked about, your sense of humor? Whoa, that is so cool! Well, don't be paranoid. No one can hear us. We're totally on the opposite side of the caves. Uh, no, Kai, bad idea. Sensei told us not to. Kirby Morrow was the best thing about the show to me uh, in terms of why Cole was my favorite. Again, in terms of his personality and his persistence and just his overall leadership, I feel like Kirby Morrow adapted that beautifully into his role and naturally is a leader and the heart of the team. I feel like he was the heart and soul of the entire voice cast of Ninjago and uh, that's just not my statement as well. Uh, several other people agree with that and for a good reason. I mean, it's true. Kirby Morrow is going to be someone that is always going to be looked up to in the Ninjago community. Um, no matter how far his legacy goes, we will always follow that. And I guess that's just something that we as a Ninjago community can accept and move towards. I feel like that's a really good thing that we can do as a community. I've seen several people throughout the last day give their thoughts on Kirby Morrow and give their condolences to his family and just talk about their personal favorite memories of him. And I think that's a really good thing. I feel like this community is doing a really good job of building together and helping each other in this time of need. Um, I've been contacted by a few people asking me if I'm okay. And the honest truth is, I'm not sure I will be. Um, Kirby Morrow was one of my favorite parts of the show. And uh, to have him be gone, again, as I said earlier, it just doesn't feel real. Aside from Ninjago, he voiced a few other characters from other franchises that I do need to talk about really quick. Uh, most notably, his role in the Transformers series. In case you guys are not familiar with myself, I am a huge Transformers fan. So not only did the loss of Kirby Morrow hit me in my Ninjago fandom, it also hit me in terms of my Transformers fandom too. 
which, you know, isn't all that great. Um, he voiced a couple of characters uh, throughout a few different series for Transformers. The one that I know him as most notably was Hotshot from Transformers Cybertron. And uh, Hotshot was never my favorite character, but I always thought that, you know, Kirby Morrow growing up, I always thought that he, uh, same with Cole, you know, he pretty much nailed that role. He did his best and he delivered. So um, obviously he's voiced in other things too. As I've said, he's done a lot of stuff. He's voiced in a lot of different anime, including a lot of the Gundam series and a couple of cartoons. Like even people that aren't fans of Ninjago can find something to latch on to with Kirby Morrow uh, passing. A lot of people can, I guess, look back on their childhoods and look back on their uh, careers if you're a fellow voice actor and I guess kind of take notes and take, uh, you know, points of where your inspirations drew. A lot of us drew inspiration from him and uh, to have him gone, again, it just doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem real. And I'm gonna keep saying that because it really doesn't, it doesn't seem real. But uh, part of, I guess, celebrating his legacy is looking back on roles like these. My favorites of which were obviously Cole from Ninjago, Hotshot from Transformers, um, and I've seen a lot of support again. And that's something that I do need to specify again. I've seen a lot of support for Kirby Morrow and a lot of people uh, sending their condolences out towards the family and towards, you know, his loved ones and towards his fellow castmates, especially for Ninjago. And I have to say, I'm very proud of this community and proud of, you know, everyone for, I guess, coming together and uh, remembering someone that meant a lot to us. Um, in terms of the future, right now, I don't care. Uh, in terms of what they're doing with Cole in the show, I honestly just don't care to consider that right now. I've seen a couple of people make suggestions. I just don't want to get into that right now, um, which I think is understandable. I feel like right now we should focus our time on remembering him and I guess uh, remembering what he did for the Ninjago community specifically. Uh, last night I went ahead and watched uh, Master of the Mountain again just because it's one of my favorite seasons and it was obviously a coal season. So I, I just felt like that was uh, appropriate for me to do during that time. Uh, I had a good time watching it, but in terms of like my speculation for the future, obviously we all have our own theories, but I really don't want to get into it at this moment in time. We'll save that for a later date. It's just not a good time right now. Also in terms of the new set images that are coming out, I also don't care. It's hard for me to care about something when my entire world has just kind of been clouded by this one thing. And that's just the fact of the matter. It's like, I, I just don't care about the set images right now. We'll talk about them at a later date. In terms of what my videos are gonna be looking like over the weekend, guys, um, I honestly don't know. I have a few videos already set to go um, that I had made already prior to this news dropping. And um, I'll probably be releasing those on Sunday. I'm not gonna be making any new videos on Sunday. I'm just gonna be uploading the two videos that I've already made. Um, we're not gonna be live streaming today, obviously. There wasn't a stream. Uh, we'll get back to that on Monday, and we will um, return to regular video production on Monday as well, and we'll talk about stuff then. Um, for the time being, guys, let's just take a few days to celebrate Kirby Morrow and celebrate what he did, not only in Ninjago, but also for his entire uh, career, everyone that was affected by it, and it ranges to a lot of people. So I feel like right now the least we can do is kind of give our respects to Kirby Morrow, give respects to his family, and I guess still carry on, you know, admiring his legacy and kind of learning from him as well. I feel like we could take a lot of inspiration from him. So that's pretty much what I have to say in this video. I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a, I guess, more um, calculated or, you know, calmer video talking about Kirby Morrow as opposed to the video that I put up yesterday, which was just kind of my raw reaction and my raw emotion. So, I mean, even right now, it's not, uh, I'm not in the best position, but, you know, I'm just trying to do what I can, uh, just trying to put out some respect for him. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's pretty much going to do it for this one, guys. I'll see ya.